Okay, you know it's a big deal when all three of us are in the same video. Right, right. We have big news. We made LUTs. Woo! Look who's back on the vlog! So I just got so hyped. Yeah, you really. Taylor back on the YouTube channel. How are you doing? Great. It's good to be back. Yeah, let's go get coffee. This guy going what do you got? Ice latte! <laughs> I'm excited for seating again. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe <laughs> all right y'all we are so excited that we have made our own LUTs yes. we've worked on them we've put our heart and soul behind them to get you that cinematic goodness we've been doing this for about four months or so to get this look dialed in high quality stuff just for you so really if you want that cinematic look for yourself for your own footage you got to check these out. Please They're absolutely check out our beautiful. LUTs. Yeah. Yes. Not only do we have our own LUTs, but we also have a very, very, very highly curated library of LUTs and presets from artists and creators that we trust. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go just shoot footage and show you how these LUTs look. Shop is live. Shop is live. Shop is live, dude. That's a <laughs> sick line. <laughs> Anyways, the reason that we came out to the beautiful Oregon coast tonight is, is to basically get some example photos and example footage to show you what these LUTs and presets look like when they are applied. And tomorrow, we're going to drop them in our editing programs and give you a thorough walkthrough so you can be well equipped to get some really cinematic footage on your images. And yeah. Yeah. So basically, by the end of the video, you should feel competent in applying these LUTs and presets and adjusting them to make your footage and photos look the best possible. Look. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Look so oh, Chef's good. Yes. But yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, here's some more B-roll. Idea we're filming him. This is not for a show right now. This is just natural. <laughs> Good stance. <laughs> so we're shooting most of our LUTs on various cameras: the iPhone, the Fuji, Blackmagic. So we're going to kind of see GoPro. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to kind of see how this looks across multiple cameras to get a proper testing. Oh, this is a look right here. For this composition, you can see this is a nice curve right here. So I'm gonna get kind of low with this wide-angle lens. So my LUT or Nasa LUT is made for like warm tones and it's going to give it a really rich and creamy film look. And so this backdrop is going to be really nice. Okay, go for it. Go right here. Yo. Yes. You that was it. nice, yo. You nail it? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Taylor, we're coming. Joshua got the shot. It's telling me get up and get out, get up and get out, get up and all right, y'all. We wrapped it up here on the beach. We're going to actually head over to the computer and get this tutorial started. See you in the morning. Bah. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. 
Yo, good morning. Cheers. Good morning. Uh, over my computer, that's so scary. scary. <laughs> that's so scary. Um, okay. Wow, great light. Wow, awesome. Wow, gross. Okay, um, we are going to ingest this coffee, get our computers, get the setup going, and then teach you guys on the computer how to get your footage looking cinematic using the shots we got yesterday. Showing you our LUTs. Super pumped, but uh, I'm going to chug this first. Chug, chug. Presets are a great way if you don't understand color just yet. Yo, real quick, shout out to all my Final Cut Pro users. Who cares about Premiere? It's all about Final Cut Pro. We talk about efficiency here, yo. Efficiency! Yo, bro, go somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at the shot, like the headlights there. I'm into that for sure. Hello, friends. So, um, I am going to show you basically my process with using presets for photos. So being a photographer, of course, we use presets and not LUTs. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to import those into a software program like Lightroom, my personal favorite. And then we are going to play around with some of these presets from all of these amazing creators and just kind of tinker with them and show you how I adjust them. And that way you can get a good feel for how to do this yourself. All right, so to import a preset into Lightroom, you're gonna come over into the editing tab. Do note that this is the newest version of Lightroom at this moment in time. So if you have an older one, it may be slightly different. You're going to press the presets tab, and then the three little dots is where you can import a preset. This is where you can go find them in whatever location you saved them at in your computer. So I am going to grab, for example, this one. You can also select multiple at a time if you want to batch import, but I'm just gonna select one right now and then you import. Those are going to save in your folders under the preset tab. So honestly, really easy. You don't have to save your presets in a certain folder anymore. You can save them wherever you'd like and just import them very easily. So that's the import process. Here we have a few photos from yesterday, untouched. Um, and so let's start tinkering around with these. I have quite a few packs from our shop in Lightroom. As you can see, I'm going to open up all of these folders so I can see all of my options. So here they all are. And what's great is even just when you're hovering over these, you get a nice preview. So you can sort of see like, yeah, I like that one. I don't like that one. I'm going to take that away. All right. So for this one, it's shot very underexposed and we will fix that after we apply the preset. I just want to find one that I, I like as a starting point. Quartz looks good. It's really dark. Let's try quartz. So I already know this baby needs to be upped in the exposure quite a bit. That looks good. I'm gonna take the highlights down because their skin's a little blown out. And this is a little cool for me. So I'm gonna take the temperature up and make it nice and warm. That's already looking really gorgeous. Um, I'm going to press the backslash button on my keyboard in Lightroom to show the before and then again to show the after so you can see the difference of where it started and where it is now. I always find that very helpful. I'm also gonna lift the shadows. And honestly, that looks gorgeous. I could really keep going. Um, I wanna add some grain, but even just with like three simple adjustments, this is an, an entirely new and highly improved image. All right, and so just for the sake of showing you how powerful and effective presets are, I'm actually going to duplicate this image, reset it so it's back to its original, and we're just gonna do a totally different look for this one. So maybe we'll go with something a little more faded and saturated. So let's choose this one. Again, need to really up the exposure 
So highlights can come down. So you can see this one's already really green. Um, yeah, just a totally different feeling. I'm gonna bring this closer. So I'm actually gonna go into the color panel and adjust these colors individually. So I'm gonna take the greens and sort of change the hue of them. So you can see this is more yellow, this is more blue. I'm gonna go somewhere like that. So that already is looking entirely different. Um, just to show you, this is the first edit, this is the second edit. Let's move on to this blue hour shot just for the sake of kind of the power of a raw photo and of course these presets and how quickly you can make a really, really dark underexposed image into something really cinematic and beautiful. So this is my car on the beach at blue hour and as you can see it's very dark, um, but luckily I shot in raw, so there's tons of data in all of those shadows and we can bring it back to life pretty quickly. Let's see, so I'm gonna kind of, you know what, first I'm actually going to raise the exposure a bit and lift the shadows. That way I can see these presets a little more clearly when I preview them. Let's grab this one. We're going to, I want to raise the exposure too much, but it does look so much better already. Lifting the shadows. I also want to straighten this a bit because it's crooked. And center up the crop. All right, so again, before, after, and I've clicked the mouse maybe three times. Presets are a great way if you don't understand color just yet to really begin to understand what these sliders do and um, just how little you need to, to drastically change an image. So there's like a you know 30 second edit of a really dark blue hour shot. So you may be thinking, Taylor, you made a LUT. You didn't make a preset. I know. Lucky for you, there actually is a way to apply a LUT to a photo. It takes a few more steps with importing and all of the kind of files that you need, but there is a way. So if you want more info on how to apply a LUT to a photo, let us know and we would love to show you. So here are a few examples of some photos with our team's LUTs applied to them. All right, so here we go onto the computer. First, we will start out in Premiere Pro. That is my editor of choice, and I do some of my color grading here. So I'm gonna help you get that cinematic footage using our LUTs. Let's say you just bought our LUTs. I'm gonna walk you through my process on how to use those. So we will open up Premiere Pro here, and this is just act like you just had finished your edit. You know, you got some clips laid out on the timeline. I got a few various camera clips here from different cameras to show you kind of how it all works but I am going to add an adjustment layer right here. Matches the sequence setting and you'll drag that right over the top of the clip. You can relabel the color if you want. Right click, let's go ahead and do forest. Um, so that is my adjustment layer and that's how I do my color grading. Basically, I will put a LUT on top of the adjustment layer and in this case, this is log footage from the Black Magic camera. And if you are using log footage, what you're gonna have to do is use a conversion LUT. And then you can apply our kind of creative finishing LUTs on top of that to get you the look that you want. So I hope that makes sense. But basically, as you can watch what I do, you have this really flat footage. We will have our first adjustment layer. And you'll go over here, you'll browse. And in my project folder is where I have all my LUTs. As you can see, we have a Blackmagic conversion LUT, which I'll use first. We have some LUTs from Evan, Faisal, Jevin, Moment Sizzlers, which is what I will be showing you later, my personal LUT. But first we will start with this Blackmagic conversion LUT. Boom, you put that on and you can immediately see that it brought back some contrast and a you know, decent amount of contrast back to the footage. You can always tweak it a little bit later, but we will start with that. It's really flat footage to work with. 
um, you would not put this conversion LUT on, let's say, this footage, which is from a GoPro, or this footage from the X-T4, because those cameras already have some contrast and saturation in the footage. Um, you would just start with our LUTs on top of that and kind of tweak from there. But a lot of us filmmakers do shoot in like log footage, so first get that conversion LUT on and then use ours. So what I'll do, I just kind of duplicate that layer because it's easier. Um, you'll immediately see it's way kind of too crunchy, but let's go ahead on this first few clips and add my LUT because this is kind of these blue hour clips here. So we'll go over to LUTs. We will add, I just named that folder Moment Sizzlers and you can see right here we have Moment Caleb Base Rec 709 because now that we've converted the footage, it's ready to go. Um, and yeah, we'll go ahead and do the base one. You can see, oh boy, that got very moody real quick. Um, but my look is very cool blues, kind of that it's meant to be shot in this kind of low hour or low light kind of blue hour look. Like this is a straight vibe. Oh yeah. Look at the shot, like the headlights there. I'm into that for sure. Um, from there, feel free on that adjustment layer to tweak certain things. If you want the temperature a little cooler, you probably wouldn't, <laughs> bring it down. If you want it up a little bit more, right there, you're good. You can add a little more contrast or even crank the exposure to get a different look. You can quickly see how these LUTs, when you're building them out, you have so many options for looks, which is really fun. Um, I also really quickly want to show you how they work on a couple other clips, not just on log footage. So if you're shooting on a GoPro, if you're shooting on an iPhone, if you're shooting on an any, uh, just an SLR, like these LUTs will work for you with some fine tweaking, which is pretty awesome. Um, so what we'll do is just duplicate this adjustment layer, bring it straight on, and you can see immediately how that looks. And again, that's quite crunchy. This is with my base layer LUT. I would probably, I'd usually shoot a GoPro more in sunny days. So let's go Niles Exposure Plus One. Ooh, yeah. Look at the tones. Like, they're actually good. They're definitely a little much. They're a little hot. So what you can do is slide into your adjustment layer and just bring down that opacity. Bring that down to, like, 60%. And then you can go in and tweak and maybe even pull down, I would personally probably pull down saturation a bit. And I would bring down exposure just a bit because... Again, trying to get that cinematic look. You don't want an overexposed image for cinematic look, but... Okay, that looks actually quite good for a freaking GoPro. So, there's your clip of it playing on the one wheel on the beach. That looks nice. I could even bring up the amount a little more. And then, before and after for you. Look at that. I mean, after and before, just straight GoPro colors. That's really sick. Um, okay, we have an iPhone clip here, but you get the point. <laughs> you can use it on that. And then we have the X-T4. Let's just get this good old vlogging clip going. So if you're a vlogger looking to juice up the color a little bit, and you just usually are used to shooting your camera picture profile straight out, these are gonna work great too. So let's just bring on that adjustment layer. Just a single adjustment layer because that camera already looks a little bit contrasty. We will go to input LUT, browse, pull in. Let's go, let's go Joshua's LUT. Um, yep, yep, okay. Like one click of a button and your whole like tones change. It's so sick. Um, so there you go. I mean, it's subtle, but you can kind of tweak it the way you want it to get that cinematic look. And sometimes when I think cinematic, it's less about, you know, super saturated colors. We've built our looks based on stuff that we naturally prefer. So that's pretty cool. Um, and just because I haven't shown you yet, let's go pop on. We have some great LUTs from other creators on the store, not just us. I know we're proud of ours right here, but let's click on LUTs, go over to our boys. Um... Let's do Fizel's because his is literally called the one and only dot cube. Okay, so right away, you can see how that changed it crazy amounts in the blues. Um, that's nice. I would, 
it's kind of nice when the LUT gives you a little more than you want because you can always bring it back. You can also duplicate it if you really, I mean, it's endless. It's just cool that you get these colors within a click. So it makes getting that cinematic footage easy. But wow, this looks, <laughs> this clip's pretty funny. I mean, that LUT looks great on this clip. Going from, this is just Joshua being funny, uh, trying to get the classic touristy shot. Um, you can see right here, look, after, before, after, simple click of a button, and you could even bring this one up. Getting that cinematic look in Premiere is super easy. You know, add your adjustment layers, use your input LUTs, and then fine tweak from there. It really is not that hard. So I hope this section helped you, and clearly we're pumped on our LUTs. So, uh, heck yeah. All right, y'all, this is, this is really exciting. So let's talk about some of the ideas behind my LUT and what you're going to be expecting for this. So when I think about cinematic, I think about highlight roll off. How does the transitions from tonal ranges kind of marry each other? It's kind of like abstract, but follow me, follow me. So basically what you're going to be expecting is a little bit more muted highlights and a consistent shadow. Um, basically it's going to try to make it more milky, a little more creamier, but still have an impressionistic view on color. It's not gonna try to be exact. Your, some of the colors might shift a little bit, but let me just show you what I'm talking about. So here's one of my favorite shots that we shot uh, yesterday with Taylor. I love this little clip right here with her head turning. And with Final Cut Pro, it used to be a little bit janky trying to get a LUT into here and changing it, but they finally did a nice update. And basically, if you go over here to your effects panel and then go to search and just type in LUT, there's a custom LUT option. So let's just drag that over to the clip. Boom, dropped. Now, since I shot on my Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro, we need to do a conversion LUT to Rec. 709 color space because this is a flat profile. So let me just go to my Blackmagic folder here. I have a ton of different options. And I'll just do a simple film to Rec. 709 colored space transfer. Now, before I add my creative LUT, I do like to do some adjustments in between to just to get the levels right where I want it. So you can see here the white balance is a little off. So I'm going to open up my color wheel and then open up my panel here, change a few things here. Okay, so my blacks are a little washed and I do want to add some contrast first. So I'm going to take my midtones, I'm going to bring them down a little bit. And then, in the midtone still, I want this to feel a little bit more warm. For me, that's correct. So from there, let's add another custom LUT option, and then we can add the creative LUT. All right, so now that you downloaded our LUTs, you've noticed that there's three options. There's a base, there's a plus one, and there's a negative one. Basically, this is all gonna be adjusting your exposure. So if you've underexposed your footage by a stop, you use a plus one. If you're overexposed to stop, you use the negative one. And the base is just a, a general base so you can see where it looks like. It, I like using this method because it's a faster way to make slight adjustments just with one click. That's the whole idea behind our LUTs anyway. So in this case, I'm actually kind of at a decent exposure, so I'm just gonna use the base. So I'm gonna go over to my LUT uh, library and then go to my base. And as you can see, it didn't do much, which is fine. It did bring the shadows down a little bit, but that's good. The one thing I really want to kind of bring out are some yellow, warm, greenish tones. Those are the tones I really like to use, especially with skin tones. And uh, it's not everybody's taste, but hey, these are creative LUTs. This is all about how you can experiment with cinematic um, grays that can make your footage look different. I'm gonna let this roll a little bit. Her skin is a little bit yellow and you can always make an adjustment. Here's the thing too. Um, you might like it right off the box with our LUTs. They can work fantastic just like that or you can make further adjustments. You have the ability to create whatever look you want outside of this or keep it at this. That's the whole, that's my, that's my goal. That's Caleb's goal, that's Taylor's goal. Like we want you to be equipped to have the best looking footage and have the best looking resources to adjust anything that you need moving forward and when you export and all that jazz. But honestly, our lists are really good out the box, so there's probably, not, there's probably not much you need to do. Okay, so let's jump to another clip and I'm actually gonna walk you through what are some of the adjustments I will actually make. So let's just do that process again. Let's go look for that custom LUT setting, drop it on. I'm just gonna just drop two on. 
they're not going to add anything. They're just going to be there to actually build from. So let's do the conversion LUT. Let's go to Rec 709. Whew, that is not looking good, but we can fix that. Um, let's do some basic exposure changes as well as white balance. So I'm going to add my contrast. I always start contrast in the midtones just because um, I like to bring it to a nice, a nice overall look. And that's cool. Let's bring up some of the highlights, not too much. And then let's do, let's see what the shadow looks like. Now you can see that's really saturated. And it's always important to find a nice conversion LUT. Sometimes it's a little hit and miss with certain cameras. So I'm gonna actually bring down the saturation of this. I think that it's a little bit too much. Okay. And I think the white balance looks good. So we can actually just jump ahead and go to the creative look. And I'm gonna do a plus one this time. Ooh, that's actually really nice. See, like, look, look, look at this, guys. See the difference between how the ocean looks? It looks really blue and, like, natural. But once you put on my LUT, it's kind of like an impressionistic type of interpretation of what blue is. It has a little bit more teal in it. Um, the gold of the, uh, the grass looks a little bit more warm and magenta. Now, you can always, again, change it. So, if, let's say, if I wanted to tweak the grass a little bit more, I'll go back to my color panel here. And then now I actually go to my color curve and then I'm going to select the color picker, go over here to the grass because that's going to change to like an orange. And I can actually make that a little bit more. Now this is straight up looks like orange and teal. That's not the intent of this look, but it's definitely a look. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Cool. That was my uh, tutorial and showing how to use it through Final Cut Pro. Uh, which is the better program. So, uh, yeah, love you guys. <laughs> Cut. We know. We know you guys learned something in this video. Oh, Absolutely. At least one thing. At oh, least right. one thing, yeah. A little tips and tricks. Um, so make sure to download our LUT pack. At least check it out. See if you're interested in it. You guys got anything else to say? I'm so glad we did a video together. I know. No, it was so good. a long good. time coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we needed this. Yeah. Um, okay. That concludes this learning vlog video and uh tag us in what you apply these luts and presets to we want to see we want to see and subscribe for more you know maybe the more likes we get we'll get taylor in the videos again maybe we'll get the elusive niles in a video again doubt it but who you know we'll see yeah yeah and also more ad money to give away that's right we're doing that every month every okay love our long outros peace y'all See y'all. Thanks for watching.